In this video, we explore a pragmatic way for your simulation workflow to literally be in two places at the same time. Let's set the scene. Say you were past some floor plan sketches. On the left, ground level, in the middle is the first level, and the right are two overlaid on top of each other. The idea is to trace out the face of the walls in each of the rooms when creating the geometry of each thermal zone in the simulation tool. We can see in the right image that the two levels have some alignment differences in the walls. Traditionally, there are also minor glitches during digitizing of such plans, and thus we expect a couple of iterations to reconcile any glitches that show up. Whatever tool you're using, you'll likely get into a production mode with steady progress. However, tool interfaces invariably are focused on a particular portion of the model. And chances are that whatever tool you're using, your progress will frequently be interrupted by the need to figure out the details of what's on the other side of that surface. Essentially, you're focused to traverse the interface options to establish first the context and then to drill down to identify the relevant details in the adjacent spaces. I don't know about you, but refocusing eats up an awful lot of my gray cells. Effectively, we need to be in two places at the same time. And, well, tool interfaces don't really support that. We need to think outside of the toolbox. What follows is a pragmatic workflow trick. It involves invoking two simulation tool interfaces. But first, we need to replicate the project. The original will be the working model. And the replicant will be the last good version. I happen to like using rsync to make such clones. Use whatever method works for you. The main thing is only one of the models will be evolved as you're working, so that the last good version becomes a fallback in case the evolved mod model gets corrupted. So I open the working model via the simulation tool interface, and I shift it to the left side of the monitor. In a separate command window, I change the last good version folder and open up a second instance of the tool interface and drag this to the right side of my monitor. Now, when I need to know what is on the other side or some other aspect of the model, I use the interface on the right to do the exploration. Here's an example. Say I've just adjusted a door and I need to ensure that the adjacent thermal zone is updated to match this. So in the working model, I will find the context to display the two thermal zones. Yes, there's a gap between the two the, of, that's equivalent to the wall thickness. I expect that. So on the right interface, I also focus on the door and I go to the list of vertices and I look for the Z values at the top of the door. Back in the left interface, I focus on the thing called wall tin and I find the base vertices which I want to copy and set to the correct Z value. Having added those vertices, I then switch to the surface ed list menu and again select wall 10.
After deleting the upper two vertices, we've got, hey, the door surface. Now I need to fill in the gap, so I'll create a new surface ab above the head of the door by clicking on the relevant points and then attributing that new surface. Switching to the surface attributes menu, I can then rename it, might as well call it door, set its composition, And then lastly, I can ask the tool to search for the door surface in the adjacent thermal zone. And if I've done everything correctly, um, then it will find that and set a thermal physical connection between the two of them. Now I need to repeat that process at the head of the door. Now, one could carry on doing this sort of work for a while, but actually what we would like to do is uh, after we resolve a portion of the working model, let's save the changes. So, I choose at this point to exit both of the simulation tool interfaces. Certainly, I want to exit the last good version version of the thing because I'm about to overwrite some of the files in there. And again, I want to use rsync for this task as it detects the specific files that have changed. The next time I want to work on this model, again, I will open up the two interfaces focused on those two different model folders and carry out further changes. So go and explore, think outside the box, and hopefully if you've got a big monitor, use it 